Uh, moving on. There was another thing that popped up in this past week. Uh, now, this is not even a rumor. This is complete speculation by a company. I think it was called Citigroup and reported on by Bloomberg. Um, that essentially they see a flaw with the Nintendo Switch in that it doesn't appeal to children. Uh, and it doesn't appeal to children, they feel, because it's too big and it's too heavy. They Didn't now, you do, I, like, an entire video on this? Yes, yes, I did a video on this on the channel, so you guys could check out okay. um, the, the report on that in my rea initial reaction. But when I put up that video about this news, or not really news, the speculation on, on the Switch Mini and all the things surrounding the Switch Mini, uh, which essentially is what Citigroup is saying Nintendo should do in 2019 is release a smaller version of the Switch that doesn't have Joy-Cons. That's just all a single-form thing. Uh, does not fit in the dock, but everything else is compatible with it. And the moment they said does not fit in the dock, I was upset. Because I'm like, yeah. if it doesn't go in the dock, and there's no way to play it on your TV, it's not a Switch. Right. It's just a handheld device. It's yeah. just another PlayStation Vita. Or a... That plays Switch games. Or a 2DS. No. No. 2DS and their joysticks. And it's got two screens, so no. It's more similar to a Vita. Sure. <laughs> You're just like, I've never played a Vita. That's okay. Not a lot of people did. <laughs> there honest. is that. Um, anyways, at least not in America. In Japan, it's sold all right. So there's that, the Switch Mini. So just, it, just to encapsulate what the Switch Mini is, again, smaller version of the Switch, doesn't have Joy-Cons. Um, it's meant for children. And it doesn't work in the dock. It's a slightly more durable. It's just it's just a smaller switch that doesn't do what the switch does, but is it, but plays switch games, basically. Um, it's compatible with you know Joy Cons and everything else like a Pro Controller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Why you'd want to use a Pro Controller and a dinky screen that's the size of my phone or smaller? I don't know, but whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, that. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm not very enthused about the Switch Mini. If you watch my video report on it, which I'll put a link down in the description again, uh, it is. I'm I'm very bullish on the Switch Mini being a terrible. Yeah, like idea. he sounded annoyed. Like I, <laughs> I, it, I was like, you know how many? Okay, you know how many reputable sites started talking about the Switch Mini as if it should be a thing, and I'm just yeah, like, no, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> take the switch and Whoa. shrink it down a little bit for kids to play with but everything else works the same exact way it fits in the dock it, it, it does can't this, it... here's the thing someone tried saying well what if the switch mini did fit in the dock so they showed on this is my ideal switch set it's a five inch thing i said it literally cannot fit in the dock have you looked at the switch sitting in the dock if you shrink it down the buttons and the jo and the thing get in the way of it fitting in the dock there is not a way for it to fit you'd have to release a new dock yeah, it is like the most useless concept since uh, I don't know dry bones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about Astro Boy? <laughs> Ooh, there's a reason there hasn't been more Astro Boy. Oh, there's, dry heard. bones has been in many games. How many games has Astro Boy been in? Um, I mean, a lot of games, but more like manga and anime. Not so that I watch not anime. very many games. You're but. resorting to other mediums. Oh man! Hey, at least at least Astro Boy has like a movie. Dry Bones has what? <laughs> like a, Dry some, Bones a, some might have been in the cartoon in series in back Mario in the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but was he the star? <laughs> he might have been for an episode. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I haven't episode? seen every episode of the Super Mario Show. So yeah, um, Super Mario Super Show or whatever it used to be called. Uh, no, it's not Mike's Super Short Show. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, God. So, we got the Switch Mini. Like, as you can tell, I'm not very enthused about, enthused about the entire concept of the Switch Mini. Um, some people seem excited about it. Uh, but when I made that video, someone brought up an idea of, no, what I really want is a Switch XL. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I started thinking about the Switch XL and how that could even be a thing, right? Because there's a 3DS XL. We have the DS XL. Um, or DSi, whatever you want to call it. So you had these bigger systems in the past, and I kept thinking that Nintendo already has the perfect excuse to make a Nintendo Switch um, XL. So I'm going to grab my Switch here. When you look at the Switch, it's got this really thick bezel that's like a half inch, you know, 
Well, yeah, that's like one of my only complaints about this. Um, a lot of people don't like it, and I wonder if it was included because of um, just how they were designing the hardware and designing the rails at the time. They just wanted it to be easy, and they wanted it to be something that, um, you know, for people who were going to like put protectors on and skin on it wasn't going to cover the screen. I don't really know, to be honest, what the reasoning is. No one's ever, I don't think anyone's ever asked Nintendo why there's such a big bezel on this thing. Because um, that's very old school tablets. Most tablets now, there's like no bezel. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, so there's this very thick bezel. So like Nintendo could literally release another Nintendo Switch, call it the Switch XL, and all it is is the exact same size and they just get rid of the bezel. Yeah. And it's just a bigger screen. Yeah. That's literally all they'd have to do. And it would be compatible with docks because it's the same size. Yep. Um, I hope... Sounds hope, like a win-win to me. The only thing I, I hope they change if they do do that, and maybe this is why the bezel exists, because Nintendo claims that they didn't see the Switch scratching problem, but um, the scratches only, because of how it slides in, the scratches only happen on the bezel area. So maybe Nintendo really did know about the scratches, and that's why the bezel is there, because the bezel conveniently lines up with the rails inside the dock. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, yep. but it's a very convenient, like, oh, the rails line up with the bezel. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I think Nintendo might have known something that they're lying about because it's bad marketing. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so I think if they do that, if they do make a Switch XL, I hope that instead of using the plastic screen that's easy to scratch, that they go with a fully like Gorilla Glass screen, mm-hmm. um, like most phones <clears> have. <throat> And uh, then you won't have to worry about out of the box as much risk. Obviously, I would still suggest to still get you know a glass screen protector like I have a tempered glass one. But um, you know, at least then cu- customers might feel confident. Like, hey, look, if I want to go trade in my Switch here and get a Switch XL because I want I I hate the bezel, I don't have to worry that it's going to be you know a lower quality mm-hmm. screen. And I don't think it'd be something to release this year, but you could see it like that in 2019. Where you would have the no bezel Switch XL um, that they could charge the same amount of money as they charged for the original Switch. I'm going to chop the original Switch price like 50 bucks or whatever. And say, hey, it's got no bezel and Gorilla Glass screen. Yep. And then they could have an argument to keep the price high. Uh, which is what they kind of did. Like when they, when they lower the price of the 3DS, um, when the 3DS, new 3DS came out, new 3DS XL. Well, conveniently, those were priced right at what the 3DS used to be priced at. So, um, so I guess this is kind of a debate of the Switch Mini versus the Switch XL and what we would like to see them do if they're going to do any of it because the interesting thing about the Nintendo Switch is because it's also a portable, it means that like the 3DS and DS before it, it is highly likely to see a, a hardware refresh that reimagines the console a little bit. Um, and I, I literally just explained how the Switch XL could still actually work with everything they have out now. Um, but I hate the Switch Mini. So I'm really, really biased right now that Switch XL sounds like a brilliant plan to me, and I would trade in my Switch today for one yep. of those. Um, <laughs> especially if it has Gorilla Glass. Right, that alone. Right, but, right. but anyways, yeah. like if you give me, you just give me, get rid of this, get rid of this thick bezel, give me a full screen, um, I would be thrilled. Not that I ever really had a complaint about the bezel, to be honest. Not something I noticed, but it is what it is. Uh, I know a lot of people that think that this screen is too small. And I wonder if the people that think this screen is too small have actually played one. Yeah. That's the yeah, thing I have to wonder. Like, like, oh, it's too small. I'm like, have you played it? Because Breath of the Wild would be the game that it would look the smallest on because of how big the world is. Yeah. And I never felt that playing on it was bad. No. It was a bad experience like that. So, just me. And besides, guys, it is a Switch. You can play it on your TV. <laughs> you I want mean, a bigger screen? You want a bigger screen? It gets it. as big as you want. You can play it on a projector if you want. Um, Darren, in this new debate about something that doesn't exist, Switch Mini versus the Switch XL, which would you prefer and why? Um, well, I am tempted to say the mini because I'm sure like some parent is going to walk down the aisle in Walmart, see the switch and then see the switch mini and be like, Hmm, which one would be the best for my kid? This small, more tablet looking device or this weird thing that plugs into a TV 
I think it's the tablet one. Um, uh, practicality wise, I would say, you know, the Switch Mini is a dumb concept, uh, and I would rather have a bezel-less Switch. Uh, but I mean, well, <laughs> here's the funny thing: when he said, "Oh, am I gonna grab this one that's dumb and plugs into a TV, or this one that doesn't?" Um, I'm looking at my Switch box right now. It does not show me the Switch being used on a TV. Okay, I mean, you're you're right. Yeah. So like the the at the consumer level, they're not gonna know that. They're just gonna see the thing that's gonna, that looks looks funny is they're gonna see the switch, you know, held up like that with the with the hand pulling up the Joy-Con. Mm-hmm. That's what might look weird to them compared to a Switch Mini. Mm, okay. Since it won't have detachable Joy Cons. Which, by the way, my pro the, the thing is the Switch Mini is designed for kids, right? It's not a console for me. You know, a lot of people think the buttons and stuff on the Switch are already too small, and um. It would be even smaller on a Switch Mini. But for a kid, that's not a big deal. Like, right. I could see how, like, a small child, you know, it's not really... Like, my daughter, if she was using it, I could see the small buttons not being a problem. Um, and you obviously probably wouldn't want detachable Joy-Con things that are that tiny. Yeah. Like so, yeah. Um, I, I guess the more and more we talk about it, the more and more I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. it. The concept It's of hard it because a- it's not a product that I want. But at the same time, I'm still stuck on this doesn't work with the dock. It's not a Switch. Right. The literal selling point of the Switch is in its name. The Switch between TV and I know and portable. The, the argument is, well, the selling point for 3DS is in its name, but they still did the 2DS. But yeah, and it was called the 2DS, not a 3DS. Right, exactly. <laughs> so there was no pretending there was 3D on the system. No pretending it was a clamshell. Yeah. It was literally a 2DS. Yeah, now I get it. Did have the confusion of 2DS to play 3DS games, but whatever. Yeah, that is what it is. I'm sorry. So, Darren, you said you were leaning towards Switch Mini. I kind of took over your argument for you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the bezel doesn't bother me that much. It's like, yeah, sure. it's kind of annoying, but like, I'm not. Well, I think it. it only bothers people because for like the last three years, we've been really used to tablet devices without a bezel. Yeah, I mean, you know, my phone that I have right now, thing. I mean, it has a bezel, but it's not huge. It's I, dinky. Yeah, really and dinky. More, and more and more phones are coming out that don't have bezels, so... I mean, you know, in eight years, is the Switch going to look really outdated? Um, <laughs> some would argue that it does right now, so... I mean, you know, a Switch XL or large, whatever the heck you're calling it, that might, you know, work out better. Make it not seem so, look so dated. Like, I look back and I look at the Wii U gamepad now, and it's like, oh, that thing was. That Fisher thing Price sucked. Baby. Like, <laughs> Fisher <laughs> Price. Like, I had so much fun playing it. Like, I just be playing video games in bed, like I do now with the Switch, but I do it then with the gamepad, and it's like, oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> and if I guarantee you, if I try to do that now, I'd be like, this experience feels cheap because this is, does not feel as good as a Switch. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I get you. Um, and that's the thing. I love my Wii U, but like the moment you have a Switch in your hand, it's like... Can't go back. This should have been what the Wii U was. Mm-hmm. Should have been. It's not. And whatever. I mean, I'm glad it's not because if this, if this thing had come out, the Nintendo Switch had come out but it, exactly as it is today, but it was called the Wii U... God, it would have been laughed out of the building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because that name I mean, was so terrible. Yeah. I don't think people understand just how bad that branding was. That, yo, well, it makes sense. You called a Wii U because, oh, look, you still have your Wiimotes. Your new your new Wiimotes 2.0. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God, shut up. It's a terrible <sighs> idea. Yeah. Terrible idea. Yeah. That name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah it, was, it was. But, yeah, no, this feels like what the Wii U should have been. Um so I don't know. Well, you, you know it always used to be. I'm gonna go home and play with my Wii. Well, no, it was. Wee-wee! Then it was. Then it was. Well, no, you can play too. <laughs> and then it was like. Wee 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 yep, yep, the, the wee. The ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric, Switch Mini, Switch XL. What are you thinking? I, I I like the concept of the Switch Mini. The actual. But, but Eric, Nate just spent like 15 minutes destroying the concept. The idea of it makes a lot of sense. It does. Now, the practicality of it, 
not so much. But to be honest, does it sound like it something be not practical, would do? But makes sense. Yeah, it does. Because the, the the idea that it's four kids makes it a great concept. But not being able to do it on the in the dock or stuff like that, practical use of it, not so much. What slap you around? That makes sense. Not to me. But either way, the Switch Mini is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to have an opinion here? <laughs> this is your opinion. I just disagree with it. <laughs> but I, I definitely think. Well, it's the, kind of a battle the XL of is yeah. It's a battle of a product that's not made for us versus a product that clearly is. Because mm-hmm. Switch XL is something that we would want. I, I think all three of us could admit. Yeah, it, it's the product we would be interested in purchasing. Yeah. Um, not that we would. Especially if it's literally just like the same guts. I'm not saying any of us would trade in our Nintendo Switches for the Nintendo Switch XL, but if we were likely to get another Nintendo Switch someday, it would be an XL version versus a Mini, right? Um, for ourselves, yes. You know, so it, it's a very interesting prospect, and it, it's weird because I am thinking about getting my daughter a Nintendo Switch um, for her birthday slash Christmas. I'm not exactly sure which. And the reason I'm thinking about it is because it's Minecraft. She loves Minecraft. But she wants to play Mario Kart and she wants to play all this stuff. And if uh, she has her own, she doesn't have to use daddies. <laughs> That's the idea here. Yeah. Um, and she can share it with mommy. It can kind of be a <laughs> present for Ed. Well, it can't be a present. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to have to buy Aiden one too. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Have have fun. Fun. And then the eventually I can have to buy Yulia one because. <laughs> no, Yulia can just take the kids. Um. Oh my god! No. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna end up having four switches just in this house. Yep. Oh my god. Have fun with that. Okay, switch mini. I'm I'm sold. Yep. You switch mini. You come out. You cost two hundred and under. You're sold. I'm buying three of them. They can use that. I'm using the. They don't have. They don't have to use the TV. <laughs> they don't need the TV. I got the TV. Yeah. Right. <laughs> TV's for daddies. Like, right, right. You're just going to be like, but I wanted to play this with my friends. I'm like, well, here's my extra Joy-Cons. And <laughs> yours probably doesn't world. have a kickstand because yeah, right. it's made to be held. So here's my phone holder. And good luck <sighs> looking at that tiny screen. Have fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. I I'd get you the other phone thing. But yeah, it's it, it's a very interesting prospect. The, you know, the more we talk about the Switch Mini, the more I understand its market appeal. The less I understand why adults are busy on the internet talking about it like they want it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... Because everywhere I go, I know it's adults talking about it. It's like, are you just talking about it because you're that desperate because you don't want to switch? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it. part of that might be actually what it is. That <laughs> any way that they could get a switch, even if it is smaller, <laughs> they won't want well, Plus, there's people who don't want the dock. Yeah, yeah. This is a, we do have to remember that... Again, I still have yet to dock mine. This is a hybrid system, right? This is this is Nintendo. This is really any major company's first hybrid system where it's meant to be your main home console and your main portable system. So essentially, you can argue that the Nintendo Switch replaces the Wii U and the 3DS. Even as Nintendo keeps saying it does not replace the 3DS, what the hell is the point of a hybrid system if it doesn't actually replace your other portable system. Yeah. 